He speak for all black people. He do not speak for us. Y'all got it messed up. It's a new day in town. It's a new sheriff in town. This will be the last time y'all kill one of our folks, man. The next time, they gonna lose one. And that's how it's going from here on out. Straight murder anything Brooklyn style. You already know, nigga. Change your mind. That's cool, nigga, them tech nines are cooking, nigga Turn this brains into cooking, nigga I'm not a killer, but don't push a nigga I swear to God, I will pull it, never let Put a finger to them nigga, nigga I'm just saying you got shooters on the roof Well, I got shooters in the bushes, nigga Never ever been a pussy type, no But I know a lot of pussy dice Yeah, this shit trash, you can't rap And the engineer should've took your mic Ain't a thug, you a pussy type She can't fall in love and be hooked for life You the type that'll kill your bitch If she tried to leave and get booked for life I'm really a calm nigga, but the niggas tell me it's really rap Mr. Hayes, when they let you out, I'm right there with them weapons out. I'm a fake blood that just slow you nigga, and they gon' have to bring them stretches out, cause I'm not playing. 20 shots, pussy clock to your chest, nigga. You kill my brother, now you rest, nigga. Nah, fuck that, I got more to say. I know these hoes ain't what they look. Motherfucker, I was born today, fuck MOB, I'm MOB, I'm just tryna grind it, duck the beat. I told niggas I'm gang bang, but fuck my bro, I throw up the beats. Because there's five families. Just like the Italian mafia has five families, we got five families. Okay? There is the entertainment aristocracy. These are black people who are well placed in entertainment. Jay Z, Oprah Winfrey, Bob, Jackson, LeBron James. This is the entertainment aristocracy. These are blacks who get rich through entertainment and athletics, and their job is to do what? Deflect all attention away from white people as being responsible for the condition of black people. As you notice, Oprah Winfrey, her whole career was based on what? Catering to white women. That's how white supremacy operates. Here's a black woman, but her whole show caters to white women. That's what white supremacy is supposed to do. Look at Jay-Z. He got all these albums out here, pussy, bitch, hoe, all these negative terms, downgrading black women, talking about dark-skinned black women. I sold drugs, shotguns, boom, 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 boom. But all that is okay. Why is it okay? Because Jay-Z was willing to work with the owners of the um, Barclay system there to build that stadium and move all those poor black people out the way. So because Jay-Z was willing to do the bidding for white folks and becoming a mason, he could really even do even more bidding for white people, okay? He is okay for him to curse and to, and to put black people down because he's working for them now. He's on the inside. He's Obama's hip-hop person who keeps all the Negroes in check in the hip-hop industry. That's who he is. He's the Al Sharpton of the hip-hop world. It's black people with money, rich blacks with money. You're normally looking at $500 million or more. Now, some blacks belong to multiple categories. Jay-Z, Oprah Winfrey, Bill Cosby, Bob John, they belong to multiple categories. They belong to entertainment. 
They also belong to Negroes with money category. These are black people with millions of dollars, and they never give that money to anything worthwhile. They know Umar Johnson trying to build a school, but they ain't wrote a check. They know that there's different institutions we need in our community, but they ain't wrote a check. Why is it that you never see athletes and entertainers and rich black people do anything to help the neighborhood? Because the number one rule to being rich and black in America, if you want to stay rich and black, never use your money to help your own people. Never. If you want to help black people, do it in Africa. You want to help black people, go to the Caribbean. You want to help black people, go to England. You want to help black people, go to Canada. But you better never be caught using your money to help improve the condition of black people. That's why Jay-Z went to Africa and he done something for one of the villages in Africa. That was real nice, but he didn't do a damn thing for Brooklyn. Oprah Winfrey went to South Africa. She built the school. I don't have a problem with that. I'm a Pan-Africanist. But you're based in Chicago with the worst school system in America, one of the worst in the world. You didn't do nothing for them. This is what they do. And then you turn on the TV, what do you see? LeBron James and Kobe Bryant posing with white kids. If you notice, every time they show you an NBA Cares program, you always see black athletes helping white children. There might be one token black, but most of the time it's white. Why can't they help their own damn children? Because it's against the rules of white supremacy. If you want to be a rich black person, enjoy your money. Spend your money, but don't spend it on your own kind. Hmm. Or, you know, don't spend it on your own kind to help your own kind. You could you could blow 50 racks. You could throw a party. King of Diamonds. You could blow 50 racks at King of Diamonds. You could buy all the sneakers in the world. You could show off your Louis Vuitton sheets and all of that stuff. But if you Negroes even act like you want to help the condition of the Negroes around you, oh, no, we pulling plugs. You know what I mean? We coming up with scandals and all kind of shit. You getting pulled over, we putting a gun on you, something is going to happen to sit you down. They're going to cat Williams you. <laughs> Like for Donald Trump, like he speak for all black people, he do not speak for us. Y'all got it messed up. It's a new day in town. It's a new sheriff in town. This will be the last time y'all kill one of our folks, man. The next time they gonna lose one. And that's how it's going from here on out.